State law requiring all middle school students who test in a certain percentile to automatically be put in advanced math classes. Now the goal? Eliminating the equity gap. Our multicultural reporter Jayla Washington reports it's already made an impact on Central Texas school districts. The energy is unmatched in Mr. Kevin Taylor's eighth grade pre-algebra advanced math class. Why are you guys in advanced math as eighth graders? And just shout out your answers. <laughs> Regular math is boring. This class perhaps a bit more diverse than a few years ago after some central Texas school districts like Hay CISD changed their policies. So their local policy shifted from teacher recommendation, counselor recommendation, or using STAR, a cutoff score, to looking at top 40% quintile of students' wow. performance okay. and then automatically enrolling them in advanced math in sixth grade. A group called Education Equals Economics, or E3, for years has been pushing for getting all qualified students into math classes aligned with their test scores. This change set out to benefit students like Madden McEmory, who is now in his third year of advanced math classes. I like I just like to use my brain and always be challenged and I just like to keep track of my grades and I don't like stuff to be easy. And when we looked at the data, what we saw were huge disparities between those students that were taking Algebra 1 from our Asian and white peers to our black and Latino peers. Now a new law requires all Texas school districts to use this policy, modeled after the pilot program right here in Central Texas. In fact, E3 says over the past three years, already the equity gap between black, Latino and white students closed about 91%. And teachers like Mr. Taylor plan to continue encouraging students always to reach their full potential. I, I believe that every student is capable, and so I think a big part of our job is convincing them. Jayla Washington, KXAN News. And parents can choose to opt their students out of this new policy if, for whatever reason, they don't think advanced math is for their child. Seven districts in Central Texas helped shape the pilot program. The rest of the state will now follow. Going in depth, earlier this year, a school district in Michigan voted to get rid of honors math for some middle school students. Students can resume the separate honors track in eighth grade, however. The district told our NBC affiliate station there that the decision was a structural change that was based on research, and that will prepare all students for advanced math in high school. Many parents, however, disagreed, saying forcing advanced students into the same class as students who struggle in that subject is a recipe for failure. All right, let's check in with David now.